Virgo, and I know, I know I've been gone for two months, but you know what? Life has been kicking your girls behind really bad, and you know, I had to take time off to get myself together. My life is still in shambles, but um, I want to get back on track doing these videos because, like I said, I want to be very, very much committed to it, and yeah. So, today I just wanted to make a video, um, kind of catching up catching you all up on things what i've been doing what i've been dealing with all of that and also for dinner i wanted some i wanted so the thing is i have done doordash i should have did a review on that but i didn't i should maybe maybe not i don't know but i did doordash and it was an order from a place called taco casa that is like not really close to my house but it's kind of like close enough and she ordered some nachos. And when I tell you them nachos smelled good, I didn't look inside the bag or anything. But the smell, it smelled it really good. So I want to go try it. Like the smell never left. You know how you smell something and it's just like you, you just, the smell never leaves. And for me, I smelled that food and it smelled so good. I want it. And I also want some Williams chicken fries. I know it's so random, but that's what I feel like. So I'm going to go to Taco Casa. And since I never tried it before, I'm probably going to go ahead and give y'all my review on that. So it's going to be an update slash vlog, which is really not a driving vlog, I guess. <laughs> driving vlog of me driving to the place and catching up on some things. And also a Taco Casa natural review. All right. So I'm just at home right now. I am about to leave. I hope the camera does not fall. I have a feeling it will. Uh, I don't know if I can drive with this on top. I don't know. Is, they, is it illegal for me to drive with a camera like on top of my thing? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I've been gone for two months. Um, out of those two months, I kind of like quit my job working at a vet. The reason why is because the people there are just horrible. Um, they're not professional at all. They think they know everything, which they don't. Uh, I feel like they really don't care as much for the animals. I think they're just there for a paycheck. And the manager is weak. Simple as that. And you know me, I'm not going to stay at no job that I don't feel comfortable in because nobody's going to tie me down. I hate jumping from job to job. I just really want to start my own business, try to get this food review um, thing off the floor so I can be able to make a um, good income doing what I love, which is reviewing foods. If you don't know, I do want to be a food critic, a professional food critic. I do want to. I, I'm serious. Like I want to like make a career out of trying foods and giving my review like and you can look at me like oh my gosh of course you're dead but my thing is it's like i enjoy it it's what i want to do so i obviously do not care what anybody else say because at the end of the day i am making money doing what i love and that's kind of like the key goal here so yeah so um that's why i'm back doing what i do uh i do i just went to an interview today for another company and i got that job right when i walked in but it's not the job I really want. What I really want is I kind of like want a part-time job working with animals because even though I said I want to be a professional food critic, I still want to do things with animals. And I'm traveling like really slow right now. I said I want to do things with, you know, things, I want to be a professional food critic, but I also like animals because I grew up with animals. I have two dogs, two step dogs, uh, one cat and five grand cats. So grand cats meaning my, my daughter had kittens. So they're great. Grandkids. <laughs> and I just love animals. I think I feel more comfortable working with animals because animals, they don't be yelling in your face. They ain't too faced it. They straight to the bin. They honest. They loyal. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, so I want to work with animals. I did want to become a, a veterinary assistant. I just kind of want to work.
work that I want to work up there and right now I'm just trying to do the entry level because I don't have the experience you know I was trying to get the spirits at my vet but they was just tripping and didn't want to help a sister out so you know what I said peace and I'll find another place so I'm kind of waiting for this uh, this other shelter to kind of call me to see if I can actually come in for an interview and get that job because that's what I really want. I'm kind of over the whole like call center, sitting at the office type of job. You know, it's easy, but I just, and it's great money, but I just love animals. I like to have at least a part-time job where I can feel comfortable and feel happy and also come home so I can have that same energy to do these videos, to do these food reviews. So yeah, that's why I, you know, but money, I gotta pay my bills. So for right now, I just probably have to go to that job. And I'm just like, nah. So don't turn it up for me. Don't do it. Don't mess up my tempo. I said, don't mess up my tempo. I'm gonna tell y'all something. SM really just paid XO dust. Like the, the amount of talent that they have. And for them to just really just throw them into a basement, not metal, not, not lyrically, but metaphorically, you kind of throw them into a basement and not really do nothing with them. I just feel like that's just, just the ultimate disrespect. Like you can at least let them, you know, do music, let them do what they sell. Like get them out of their contract. Like I feel like if you ain't gonna do nothing with them, get them out of their contract so all these other agencies can pick them up. Yeah, they probably ain't gonna be called EXO, but heck, there's the vocals, the vocals and the performances are still gonna be there, okay? Um, yeah, and I just hate that. I just really do hate that SM is just wasting their time. And last album was just totally unorganized. I just don't even want to talk about it. I should, I should have did a review on EXO Tempo and gave y'all my honest reviews, but let me tell you something. It's just. It was all over the place. They had this little motorcycle type of motorcycle type of theme, and when they performed, they was performing in just '90s drug dealing type of outfits. '90s rapping. I don't know. It just didn't match. It didn't blend. Like, what well, minute they're doing that? And don't get me wrong, because Suho looked it good in his little outfit with the chains and the little mama jeans. I like that. I like that. But it just didn't blend. And I didn't think the album was strong enough. I mean, compared to The War and compared to Exodus and compared to, I guess, exactly the other ones. But um, I didn't feel like it was that strong. It, it, You know, I think it's because SM is really not giving them the capability to branch out. Like, so many artists, I've been hearing and reading that so many artists, you know, want to work with them and SM is just rejecting them. And I feel like, and me honestly, and I don't know if other people feel this way, but I just feel as though... They've been give they give EXO songs to some other people, and I'm not trying to start any beef or anything because it really ain't no beef or anything. But some artists from their same label, when I hear their songs, I feel like it was meant to be for EXO, and it just sucks. But it it goes not just for EXO, but it goes for everything else. Like I sometimes listen to songs and I just be like, you know what, this song will sound better if another artist sing it, or this song sounds like it giving me another artist vibe. So, so like, you know, but that's just me. Uh, it sucks because now that Exumen is going into the military, you're not really going to get your full nine people. And of course, Blade, he got his own thing going on too. Oh, he ain't coming back. Uh, no offense. But uh, yeah, so once again, SM, you dropped the ball. Um, I do like NCT 127. I like NCT as a whole. They ain't did nothing wrong for me because they've been treating me right. They got a new comeback coming out. One thing I hate is that they cut Johnny's hair. Oh my God. They didn't cut my boy's hair. They cut it like a little bold. I don't like it. I do not like it at all. I mean, he's still sexy. He's still boo boo bear. But like, for real, for real. Like, seriously, like, that kind of upset me. And he's supposed to be, and they are on tour right now. They're supposed to be coming to my city, even though I ain't got no tickets. Because tickets cost too much. Like, I spent three hundred dollars at On the Run two tour, and I was like right next to the freaking stage, and they want me to spend eight hundred dollars or two hundred, three hundred dollars, and I'm like sitting in the nosebleed. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I love you, NCT One Two Seven, but maybe next time. Um, my money wasn't fully together, so I couldn't make it around this time. But I was feeling like 
they're gonna come back, you know. And I really wish EXO would come, but you know, that's really a me because for some reason, EXO don't like them leaving for real. So, but Mr. Whatever is currently going through a lot, and he might not be in none of my videos <laughs> no more. I don't know. I don't know how he, he's doing things right now. Um, but then again, this wasn't his idea, it was my idea. This is my, this is all me. Uh, he was just in it because he likes food and he likes to try to do things, so yeah. So I wish him the best. Uh, I love him, um, of course. Y'all don't know. He's my boyfriend. I love him with everything in my heart. And yeah, I wish him the best. I can't really force him to, you know, do something that you don't want to do. Oh! I don't know if I want to say this because um, I'm probably not going to upload the video tonight. <laughs> I'm going to upload the video probably on, it's going to be probably posted on Friday way past this time. But Homecoming, Beyonce's documentary comes out tomorrow. So y'all know I'm filming this today on on Tuesday. Yeah, on Tuesday. And yeah, so that's coming out. Uh, I really think she might go make a homecoming tour. I really think she might do that. And if she does, I have to go. I have to go. I have never went to a solo Beyonce tour. I have went to On the Run 2 tour and I had some great, great seats. And I enjoy myself, but I just really want to go to a Beyonce tour because she, you never know. She might want to hang it up soon. I'm just like, yeah. I gotta see the, one of the greatest performers ever. Um, yeah, and I feel like if she does that, I don't really don't care because B Cella was like one of her best performances, like hands down. Like I still go back and listen to it. I think the best part about it was the band. I think them reviving some of these old songs just made it sound so better. Like I still listen to I've Been On. I still listen to I've Been On. I listen to, um, even though this ain't her song, you know, like I be getting to the money, everybody mad, but just everybody mad. And just the horn just make it, I mean, the band just made it sound so fresh, like so new. Like she literally performed with no new songs. And we were thinking she was gonna have some new songs, but she literally performed all these old songs. And it just, she made it sound so new, so crisp. And just like, you know what? It's her power. Like I don't know how she did it, but she did it and she delivered it. And y'all just really need to take notes because. She's a force to be reckoned with, like, for real, for real, like, I'm missing part of it. I'm gonna tell y'all something now. I can't play it all because it's copyright. But let me tell you something. That song right there, I think that's one of the best songs Beckham, Beckham, whatever. I y'all pronounce the names. I'm just pronouncing how I see it. Beckham is half made, and I listen to this song like three or four singles, a thousand times a day. And I try not to listen to it as much because I don't want to get tired of it, but it's a great song. And I do appreciate the way it's just all put together. The loco, he did his thing, even though he was just basically just talking all through the song. I actually ordered something today that I will, I'm going to review. I'm going to have a review on. I'm not. I'm not trying to talk, tell y'all about it. I did order some today. You know, it takes me forever to order something online for the simple fact that I don't like to spend the money because I'm very cheap. And I did order something. I'm going to review it. It's not a food or anything, but I'm still going to review it because this is a review channel. And even though mainly it's going to be food, I'm still going to review other things because I just like. I have more things than food. I'm more than food. Oh, I got a burp. <laughs> No, you won't. I still have to sing. Maybe I should. Can I? You want me to upload some more music videos? Some music, song, uh, sing me singing. It's kind of hard because no, mainly the songs I've been listening to is kind of like K-pop. So I'm probably gonna be like, but I guess so. Ah! I got hate me for that. <laughs> that was it. But I guess so. He was so he hit the edge with me. Supernatural is a great natural. See, I don't want like, I don't want to restart bringing some supernatural. Might just, mm -hmm. um, yes. Can I have the super nachos, but with no refried beans on it? Uh, on top. And that'll be it. Alright, thank you.
some reason, I don't like refried beans on my nachos because it's like they put more cheese, they put more refried beans than cheese. It's just like, I'm not supposed to be eating a burrito. Come on out. But the line is like literally curving right now. And they only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen items on the menu, not including the drinks, which is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 items and the line is curving. So I gotta know, like, is these nachos gonna taste good? Because y'all up here curving. Like, every time I seen Taco Casa, I always think of it like it's just a shabby place that sells horrible food. And I'm, I'm sorry, because it looks shabby. But, uh, because the colors are not like, you know, like, if you look at, like, McDonald's. Like, McDonald's look all professional, look all nice and structured. Like, this right here, you know, you you know, like, uh, another restaurant used to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like another restaurant used to be here. I want to go to Bronze. I might go to Bronze and give me a double dip cone with vanilla and strawberry. Right, too big. I just popped my rubber band. What, 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 what? Bitches on my dick. So what? <laughs> Ain't no better because I'm sitting count in. Uh, my skin is like glowing right now, right now. I feel like good, but. I can't wait to upload another video. <laughs> I'm just gonna be uploading videos. I don't have no type of like, I don't have no type of um, schedule anymore. I'm just gonna, if, whenever I'm ready to upload a video, I'm going to upload a video. Um, that's how it is. This video right here, I might get uploaded on Friday because it's gonna be long. Ah! I'm gonna tell y'all something. This is the best Got Seven song they have made, y'all. Oh, this is like my ringtone. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to get copyrighted, but I'm going to turn it back up when Jackson Park come on, but yeah, that's one of the best songs God 7 has made. Teenager is also another one. It just, it's actually one of the classic ones, the ones that I can still listen to for a long time and not get really tired of. You know, it made good hits. I love God 7. Like, I am a yeah, Gacy's. That's how I can't say it, Gacy's. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. Get going, a man of the bajo. Get going, a girl of the borrow. Get going, no, I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let me tell y'all something. JB was up there just, he was tired. Like, he must have been tired. Like, you just came in, like, he was just tired. Like, come on, come on, come on. For real, this nacho is about to taste great. I mean, it's six dollars, but for the line to be curving and stuff, come on. it's closing Easter. I hate restaurants that close on Sundays. But it smells so good. It smells good. I want to go to this Brahms right here. But then again, there's a Brahms closer to my house, but I don't want to go to that Brahms and then. Be slicking on the ice cream cone in front of Williams Chickens. <laughs> it's right next to Williams Chickens. I know I ain't gonna be able to eat the ice cream like them so much. I wanna do a U turn, y'all. I hate doing U turns because I want to turn so fucking much. It's not funny. Woo! I hit that bug. Uh. <laughs> let go, let go, let's break. I never liked this song at first. Mr. Whatever loved the song, and I was just like, oh my god, it's so annoying. And now I like it. And he's gonna get mad. He's gonna be like, I told you so. When I when he hears about it. But um, um I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna videotape more when I get back home so you can see the uh I wanna see how it looks. Woo! Oh my god, it looks good. But I ain't gonna eat none. Going. One thing, if that stuff had nothing but shredded cheese on there melted, I would have been so disappointed. But it tastes good, but uh, it's a long line. But I ain't got nothing else to do. But yeah, so I guess I'll record some more when I get back on my side of town because it's going to be a long line and I just don't feel like I have anything else to talk about. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh. But I'm so glad it stayed on though. My skin is like. Won't just break it down. Hell no, hell no, hell no. And I'm nice, 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 nice.
I'm home. This is how it looks. That's the back. Um, 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 um. Okay, so basically, I ordered the Supernatural with no uh, refried beans because I don't like refried beans, so they always give you more beans and cheese. So, this is basically how it looks. Oh, oh, yeah. So, it looks pretty good. For $6, it looks pretty good. Came with hot sauce and stuff, but you know me. I don't do all that. So I'm gonna try it. It tastes how I envisioned it was gonna taste. It smelled like what I think it was gonna taste. I don't like jalapenos. I shouldn't have asked jalapenos. It's all right. If I feel like this kind of cheesy, then I'll go there, but I'm not running over there. Mm. How's that? It tastes like how I expect it to. Mm. It gives you a lot. Mm. It gives you a lot. So I'm getting that. But, um,. It don't taste like the um. It don't taste like the uh. The drafter should be curved. Let's just say that. But yeah, it was all right. If y'all like that uh, processed cheese that you get from like the movie theaters or from like school, come here. Go to Taco Casa. But it's really good prices, and I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it all. It looks good. It looks good presentation. Everything. So. Yeah, I mean, if you're used to your, your Velveeta type of thing, then then I understand. Like, you probably not gonna like this, but yeah. So that's basically everything that I have to tell y'all on this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. I, I am just dropping videos out of my bosoms because I don't know. Oh, is that my sister? No. Okay, sorry. So I'm just dropping videos out of the, out of my bosom because I don't know when I'm going to post them. So when I ask me when you just like and subscribe, I guess you can hit the notification bell. I don't know. And you'll be informed when I will be uploading the video. So thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Do good in life and keep on moving.